Now to Tallahassee, where the legislature is considering capping the financial awards for pain, suffering, and loss of companionship when a person is killed or seriously injured due to medical malpractice. The proposal would limit those types of damages to $500,000. It is part of a compromise that would lift restrictions on other types of malpractice cases. News for Jax reporter Ann Maxwell spoke with a family who was opposed to this change. This is a picture that was taken before all this happened. Bobby Bauer says his adult daughter was a dependable mom of two, looking to go back to work as a nursing assistant until a few years ago, when medical negligence left her permanently brain damaged and bedridden. It was unbelievable to go through it. She was taking the steps that she felt that she needed to do to move on and continue to succeed in life. And then, bam. So I'll take it out from under. This is my daughter. We met her earlier this week. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Anne. I heard you had a big trip to Tallahassee last oh, week. Oh yeah, I met this and her dirt and everything. Yeah, that's a long drive. Oh, but it's okay. Bowers is sharing his family's story on the condition that we don't name his daughter or divulge details of her injury for reasons of legal confidentiality. Not all people have what they have. I have a great family. I've learned about and listened to the stories of a number of individuals who were impacted by the wrongful death exception. Under a bill introduced by local Florida State Senator Clay Yarborough, damages for things like emotional pain suffered by families like Bowers would be capped at $500,000. Slap in the face. They have no idea how much you lost by this. They don't see it in and out every day. He says no amount of money can replace what's been taken from his daughter but it can provide accountability. The proposal is part of a larger bill that would overturn prohibitions on adult children and parents of adult children from recovering certain damages in medical negligence suits. Advocates have been pushing for its repeal, but one of them told me she doesn't support this proposed bill, which would do that. She says she thinks this $500,000 cap is wrong. Here's Senator Yarborough speaking about why he included that cap. Arguably repealing the subsection could likely result in higher insurance premiums to offset this impact and also to afford all of our constituents the opportunity to benefit from lower health care costs. I am also proposing that we add caps on non-economic damages if a claim relates to wrongful death stemming from medical negligence or personal injury stemming from medical negligence. The president and CEO of the Florida Hospital Association echoed that. We've certainly been working very closely with the legislature and while we have had a concern about opening up and broadening uh, the number of individuals who can sue, uh, we are interested uh, in supporting a compromise that would include putting financial caps back in place for non economic damages, typically what we think about pain and suffering. Bowers believes juries should decide what a family's pain and suffering is worth when their loved one is hurt or killed due to medical negligence, not state lawmakers. That's what justice is, the ability and the chance to have your case heard and decided. Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.